Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 24 of Darwell20's Let's Play of Craft Exile 2. Uh, where I'm just exploring the end and ran into some few, you know, things here and there that I decided, you know what, I might as well record before we go explore them. So I have no idea what the structure is in front of me. I guess we're going to find out together, though there is some corundum, so that's cool. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. They're like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Well, there's something there, so that's cool. Oh, there's an orange one. Oop, that hurt. Gotta regen a little bit of health. Anything good in here? Ooh, some boots. Uh, I did find, oh boy, here we go again. Oop. A, a, a golden uh, tier home, which is cool. Uh, we're gonna need to like reach out a little bit of health in the moment. Uh... What is here? I need to. There we go. Oh. Fell from a high point. Rip. Oh well. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I might be able to salvage the death there, but you know, eh, it is what it is. Uh so let's go back to the end island and I'll fly to my nearest or my latest death point, which is what? Uh I guess northeast. There it is, latest death. Shouldn't be too hard to get there. Courtesy of a nitra. Which hopefully ain't breaking anytime soon. Oh, we'll break a little bit soon. That's okay. Uh, at this point, like, I'm not super trying to focus on making sure that I don't die because I've been unable to maintain any semblance of experience. So whenever I want to level, I'm going to probably just go into the mirror dimension and, and skill up right through there. That'll be the plan, at least. So I explored, I think, both of those little house structure things. What is this? Common Shulker Cannon? That's kind of cool. That's Oh, there's some TNT in there? What is going on here? I think that lets me get to the cannon? How do I shoot it? I don't know. I have no idea. Let's try one that I didn't hit by mistake. How else would you shoot from stalwart? No. What, what what is this from? Doesn't really say. Okay. See if I can get up to this thing. Oop, there we go. Sweet. What's this? Sheltered altar. know what that is either I mean I do have I think I have this obsidian striker I don't know what this does either Hey minions, could could you could you not push me around while I'm trying to mine the really long time to mine thing? Oh, okay. Obsidian striker, no idea. Yep, no idea how any of this stuff works. I guess I guess the the spawners because the spawners in this in this pack always despawn. Um, so I'm guessing they despawned, uh, so we're not getting any more mobs in here, so that's kind of cool. What is the, 
crystal we found. Stalwart dungeons. Ooh, some some gear we can get and some tools. Nice. I know I saw at least a few more of these things laying around. So there's one here. There we go. That's some good progress. Hey, there we are. Even more of it. Cool. I mean, might as well grab it. Don't know if we're going to want it or not. Found a couple end village explorer maps. Not sure about that tome. Again, I'm not sure if I love the concept of the... Because, like, the stats are always, like, super low on them. But then you get a bunch of sockets. But, like, I haven't seen any sockets that are, like, amazing and make up for, like, the lack of the other stats. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm a fan or not of that. Of, of using, like, the, the, the ruined gear. What is that thing over there? I don't know. Let's find out. A couple things to check out over here. So there's this structure, and then there's something above it, right? Uh, firework stars. That's weird. I'm just gonna grab everything. It's weird seeing grass in the end, too. Now, how am I for... Ugh, not great. Oh, hello. Did we just find the thing we're supposed to be looking for? Hey, quest completed. Remote gateway sent me back here. Well, okay. That was a thing that just happened. That's cool. Well, you know where I'm going to go? Home. You cannot warp between worlds. What's interesting is it always says that, but only to the overworld. I feel like I can warp to every dimension except the overworld. Um, so a couple things. I should... Uh, I'm going to put away that tone because I don't want to accidentally void it. I'm also going to get some more membranes. We've got a few left we can repair this bad boy with. Does it take more and more to repair him every time? Eh, maybe. But at least he's repaired. And then if I need to farm more, I need to farm more. It is what it is. All right, cool. Uh, you come out here and then we're ready to go. I think so. Yeah, let's do the thing. Um, and I do want to explore that uh, that thing. But let me organize my inventory real quick. I'll be right back. All right, now that little dungeon thing was cool, but there was something else I wanted to check out that was more north of it. What that noise was. There's another void worm that I missed. This thing. Quest completed. Found our way into one of these. That's cool. See, look. So we did the remote gateway, which gives me currency, which is cool. Customizable elytras, we'll look at that in a bit. Uh, found our way into this place, which is nifty. Sweet. Currency, please. So I'm assuming this is like, uh, ooh, there's chests. Mind if I do. Uh, this is, is this like a regular village or is this a mine colonies village? I don't actually know the answer to that. Oh, there's some maps. Ooh, staff. Don't mind again if I do. But I'm guessing that's going to be a common staff and therefore nothing exciting. All right. Check this place out a little bit. Can't hurt to uh, investigate what we got going on. I'm guessing this is a normal village. It doesn't look mine colonies. It looks it looks like, you know, obviously not a vanilla board village because uh 
because it's in the end, but you know what I mean, right? Cool. And then I want to figure out this. Is this where I'm at, by the way? Nope. End Village Explorer map. Oh, now here's something. Is this what I was heading towards? No, but we're actually getting semi-close to it. But this looks like something. This looks like something worth exploring together, right? What are the noises I'm hearing here? I don't know. There we go. Goodness, do you die? How much health does this thing have? I need a health bar, please. I have no idea how much health that thing has. But I guess... See? Monster spawner shulker. Hey, I got one! Haha, <laughs> neat. I won't encounter enough of those that I don't want to have to encounter too many more if I don't have to. Well, that's good enough for now. Let's explore this place, huh? I probably won't explore, like, the whole tower. I'll do my best. Oh, that's a lot of bad guys. And the thing is, they have a lot of health. Like a real lot of health. Suspicious. Now, in fairness, I can't see their names. So the first one I encountered may have been like some kind of like legendary version of one or something. I don't know. Oh, you didn't break when I broke you? Huh. Huh. Said the villager. Not that there's a real need to grab end rods ever, but... Ow. Ah! Better spell spawner. go clear that up that was close we almost died there those are just regular old moves right yeah uh ring nothing exciting here nothing exciting here we'll open all this stuff at home that looks good right all right, I'll keep exploring in here. So far, nothing that's gotten me like, ooh, I'm super excited about this. But like, you never know. Maybe I'll come into some. I'll come back in a few minutes once I explore here more. All right, I think that's enough exploring of that structure, though. I do want to check out. Might be inside that airship, because I bet there's something cool in there. Aside from all these choker spawners. Probably just get rid of all the spawners. Ooh, that was a phantom spawner. I probably should have gotten rid of that. I do want more phantoms. I did not expect to see a phantom spawner in here. Because, like, why would I? Nightmares. What's that? Kill a phantom that is bigger than normal. Okay. Hopefully he gave me uh, some drops that are better than normal. 
actually a decent amount of damage right there. I'll take it. I am getting phantom membranes for this at least, so that's good. See, the, the spawners do break. After they spawn, like, a handful of dudes, they definitely break. Come on. I'm down here so that when I kill you, I get your loots. I feel like there's something on top. Like, wouldn't there be... Come here. Woot! More of them. Yeah, getting those membranes is key, right? Any chance I can. Excellent. Assuming there's good stuff down here? Yeah, buddy. Besides chokers. Uh, a couple loots. Phantom membranes, I will take for sure. Some potions, why not? Uh, eh, nothing too exciting there. But phantom membranes is a yes for me. That is mm, 33 mana on kill and 22% mana regen. Not bad compared to 8% mana regen to intelligence and fire resistance, or 8% and 99 magic shield. Oh, wait, this compares to this. 16 health on kill, skill damage, crit damage, and 4 intelligence. This is a level 50, though, so I have to wait until level 50 to use that. I kind of like that. I kind of do. Kind of do. Neat. Treasure room. Obtain a rare treasure head from a chest in the end city. Can you find all 55? No, I cannot. I can promise you. Ooh, another elytra. Don't mind if I do. Extra elytra. Yes, please. Uh, no, I cannot find all 55. I will promise you that much. We will probably not find all 55. I got two. Uh, and that is a not claw. All right. Not too shabby here. Looking good, right? What's this thing down here? Anything of interest? Eh, probably not. Looks like just, uh... Just like your standard, the useless portal. It's an achievement, though. Oh my, that's a lot of junk. I'll take it. But I think I also need to take it's time to go home and clean up inventory. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Let's go to portal dragon. And then home. Woohoo! All right, inventory cleanup time. Today I discovered there's ice in the end. At least in this pack. Pretty cool. Not too shabby. I will, uh, I'm, I'm hunting for one more endiophage, and then I will complete, like, three quests by virtue of killing just one. Now you can see, like, the names of, uh, of, of rare mobs on the map. So there's mutant skeletons, enderworms, I've yet to find an Enderiophage outside of the main island, which is super fun, I can tell you that much. I'm looking for literally one more, and I've been looking forever. Oh, I assume my Electra has broken. Uh, you. And... Dragon Portal. I do not meet the requirements of some item, apparently. Oh my goodness, what happened to my armor? That's funny. 
some kind of weird some kind of weird bug there we go re-equipped all right back to hunting for one more enderio phage when i find it i will come back and then we're gonna talk about going somewhere more crazy end portal no dragon port yes so you can see on the map, like, all kinds of named stuff, but I don't see ender enderiophages. I did find some flying around outside the island, but they've, they've always been, like, right around the main island here. Oh, there's one. See? Hooray! Quest completed. Nice. You know, we're, like, really close. I don't want to die. So I'm probably going to go do this in the mirror dimension, but we're really close to level 47. So, can I just... Go to dungeon? I can. Nice. Ooh, a lot of chase. That's neat. See? This is, this is my I want to level up hunting game. And because I don't want to lose my... You, you lose a decent amount of experience. Like, a really decent amount of experience. So I think the fact that I'm, like, super close to leveling means that I should probably come here and farm for a second. And that will ensure... Hooray! Level 47. Nice. Cool with that, huh? Good. Alright, now we go home. Now remember, we can't teleport to the overworld for some reason. See? I can't... I don't know why it says I can't warp... I can warp between every other dimension to every other dimension. But not to the overworld. But that's okay. I have a... I have a waystone right next to my portal. Sweet. Yep, I see you, Lemurians. Later, Gator. I'm gonna get it because he's a lizard. Okay. Uh, again, more mess to clean up, but that's okay. That'll be a whole bunch of good loots for me. All right. Uh, let's talk about going to. Uh, where we want to go. Anything else in here that needs to be... That lacks a soul, lacks a soul, lacks a soul, lacks a soul, everything else. Okay, cool. And then the last thing I'm going to want to do is another batch of you for my backpack. Cool? Good. Okay. Uh, quests. So that is you being done. Gets me a little money. That is you being done. Ooh, I get a warp stone as a reward. That's nice. That's a nice reward. Speaking of, you can go back in my backpack, and that's cool. All right, and now I have um, some level up. Oh, I didn't get any passive points for that level up? Bummer. How about um, talent points? I have four talent points, actually, right now. So we should go look at what we want to do with that. Staff damage, meh. So augment effects make, like, my augments do more, which is kind of cool. I also wouldn't mind uh, some more intelligence... Trying to like figure out where I want to go. Curse Master is kind of neat. Cold damage up in this direction. Electrify stuff. I mostly use fire. Like that's my main ability mechanic. Just trying to see like what else. Summon health. I don't know that I need that. Lots of extra intelligence stats. Down here looks to have some more augmenty things. So if I wanted more augmenting, I could. See like a lot of these game changer talents, none of them look to me like something I want. This is all magic shield stuff, which, you know, wouldn't be terrible. I'm really looking for, like, more mana. That's, like, a little bit more mana, but not a crazy amount more mana. See, this mana cost stuff would be nice. That would be cool. But it's, like, really far away from where I'm at currently. Like, really far away. Eh. I might just, like, gun for some, uh... Like, maybe just some intelligence. Maybe I'll hang on to these for now. Uh, 
um, and save them a little bit. Cool. Anything else I need to do level up wise? Just a little bit more intelligence. Okay. I think we're cool. All right, uh, so let's talk about quests. So um, maps, again, are level 55 things, right? Uh, and we can make the map device and the Pearl of Return home. I might wanna try that out just to see how it goes. So map device is gonna require a dragon head, not a problem. Pearl of Return home. That looks easy enough too. Sweet. And that gets me these. Now, adventure maps, I know we've had like a lot of drops that do map rarity upgrades, right? Um, so like right now, this is common. If I click this on here, oh, oh my goodness. That is uncommon. And that is a whole lot of affixes, right? Reduced health regen, crit chance, damage effect. Boy, oh boy, that looks a little bit more crazy. But I guess the way this works is I use my map device. I wanna try it, because I don't know how this is gonna work. Um, now that you have the necessary materials, try taking on a map. Okay, but yeah. Um, you will need to craft a map device and you'll need a map. These maps can be used on the map device block once placed. You also will need to craft a Pearl of Return home to ensure your maps have an associated level. So I guess this is like the gateways thing, but like it takes you to a place. Um, now, common, uncommon. So does that mean Uncommon is gonna drop like level 11 to 22 gear? Cause that would not be cool. Like, do I need to get to Epic in order to drop gear that's gonna be appropriate for my level? I don't know. Um, and getting more maps is not necessarily easy cause they only drop from level, so this says tier 12. So does that mean, but it does also say level 54 up there. So, I mean, I'd really like, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it blue. So mobs do a lot. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be hard as it is. I don't know why I'm trying, like the, the first one, but I also don't want common gear. Like if I'm gonna go do a map, I want at least the chance for rare loots. Epic might even be nicer, right? Um, should, we, should we go for broken just, eh? I mean, I have a lot more, I, we're gonna have to get more maps at some point, but I mean, let's try it, right? I I don't know how bad an idea this is. It's probably not a great idea, but let's see what happens. We're, we're doing the thing. You need to have at least one Pearl of Return home in your inventory to enter. Okay, cool. I guess you're really trying to protect me from myself. It was in my backpack. Tutorial, follow the spruce bonus objective. You were sent down here to unclog the copper pipeline above you. Luckily, the pipe has an auto unclogging system. Activate it by pulling a lever on the pipe itself and make the water flow again. The path leading to the levers are made with spruce planks. Use a map provided by the map dispenser to your right. It will show you the sewage disposal sites marked with water drops. Unclog the pipe so the water flows to those rooms and you will unlock extra treasure. Oh my goodness, that's cool. This is neat. Well, that's super nifty, right? This is cool. Like I expected like just, uh, sadly all the barrels are empty. Where's the rum gone? Good question. Skip tutorial and turn on water. Tutorial, follow the spruce. Oh my God. In addition to using a map, you can also look for these glass panels in the pipe. Look above you, the brown stuff means it is clogged. If you pull the lever, it will wash away the brown stuff. So dirt equals a clog. Then I have to pull some kind of lever. Am I missing the part where there's a lever? Do I have to like parkour this a little bit? That might be what I have to do. Am I allowed to? Nope, this is no clicky. There is no clicking. Oh, 
I jumped, but I hit my head. I'm not great at parkour. I'm actually not terrible at it, to be fair, but I'm also not, I'm not great at those little like weird side jumps. There we go, there we go. Hello, treasure. Watch the map as you pull this lever. It will update and show you where the water can flow. The levers are always placed on the pipe itself and have spruce paths leading to them. Pulling the lever ends the tutorial. Eight. Oh, hello. That's cool. That is really neat. Now, how do I get you? Because I can't mine the bars here. Do I need to open all the levers before I get access to that? Because I can't break it. Oh, wait. Nope. I can get in there. Sweet. Oh, nice. Okay. Increased crit chance of 25% mana regen. Level 56, though. As is that. As is this. Okay. I'll leave I'll leave the ingots, and, and then you guys can go in there. Is that cool? Okay. Not too shabby. So let's wrap up the episode here. We clearly have a lot more to explore. There's going to be mobs. It may be very hard. I don't know what to expect. We'll find out next episode. Does that sound cool? All right, so let's wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. We'll check out this dungeon thing. Uh, and then we'll look into the warden thing. So sound cool? All right, for now, that's my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.